What's up guys, it's Brandon Streams STV here, um, and today we're playing Destroy All Humans. Um, well, hopefully you like it, I've never played the original. Um, I wish I could have done like, but obviously I get to play the remastered version, so hopefully you like it. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and post notifications as well if you want to see more. Uh, also like the video and comment down below if you want to see any more of Destroy All Humans. Hello friends. Have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets? What marvelous beings might exist out there? Hands extended in friendship, awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative step I into don't space. It's not in full screen. Tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond. Giant step on my five. All systems go, General. Four. Come on, baby. Show us what you got. Three. What the hell? Two. What in the blue blazes is that? One. No, wait. Stop the countdown. Sent you. What shaking, Pox? You look a little, what's the word? Constipated. <laughs> Let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. You lost me. Shall I tell you a secret? Few of our people know this. But the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. That's bad, right? Only if we want to retain our immortality through cloning. Of course it's bad! I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. But I lost contact. Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him. Crypto-136 to a hostile planet, and he's disappeared, maybe captured, maybe even being tortured as we speak. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusion. I bet you wouldn't. Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought, and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. Which? The second one. Perhaps you're right, 137. Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta go in. We gotta crack some craniums. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, we gotta... I gotta... Brains, man. When do I get to blow things up? Patience, Crypto. Patience. I take your point. Prepare the mothership. That's what I'm talking about. So, what's the name of this crummy planet? Our destination. The planet Earth. Okay. Looks like we're starting the first mission by the looks of it. I do need to change the setting to full screen though, because this is doing my head in. <laughs> straight into this first mission then. See what this is all about. One thing I do want to 
do move that because it's always there. Just want it there. Orthopox to Cryptosporidium 137. Come in, Cryptosporidium. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto! To ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. Surely you don't mean those foul-smelling gas bags beyond the fence. Yes, I'm afraid I do. But they're covered in nipples. Now, Cryptosporidium! And Crypto! Do verify your suit is working under... I always have to unmute my mic when I start recording. It's very weird. Reach the car panic. Alright, let's go. We can peer into the minds of lower life forms via the cortex scan. Rip the preliterate thoughts from their pathetic little brains. I've got me. Primitive. It's <laughs> profound. Scan another one. Don't do that again. <laughs> Find a glitch. Again with the moo. I think these lactating bovoids are trying to fool us. I think they are annoying now. They eat with their mouths. Uh, I think I'm going to be violently ill. Attention, Earth creatures. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. At this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. I don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. <laughs> we neurons have evolved the astounding right, power of psychosis, crypto. Target an object or creature yeah. and lift it into the sky. Use PK to finish off the belligerent bovines. Slam them into the ground! Boink. Curse these Boink. creatures! Hey, boys. Bam. Good work, Crypto! Mm, Arthur, you didn't tell me we was having barbecue for dinner? Uh-huh. Wait a minute, that ain't steak, that's holy mother of- Martha, give me the shotgun! This looks like a job for the Zapomatic. Fry that farmer! Go away. It's to collect the brainstem 
from what's oh, okay. left of the agriculture. You can consume the brain stem and collect the furon DNA. Tell her, mate, you're not green, are you? As long as shields have energy, they protect you from harm. A gauge show in the current charge appears when a shield isn't fully charged. When you get hit or touch water, shield energy depletes some impact, deal more damage than others. If not damaged further, the shield slowly recharges after a few seconds. The shield bar turns red when it's out of energy, any hit could be lethal. Dodging projectiles or retreat from a battle until shields begin recharging. Collecting brain stems reduce the shield recharge delay. The saucer also has a shield to recharge. Use its drainability on humans or vehicles. Instead, the saucer shield doesn't recharge automatically. Be merciless! Let none survive! Oh. Let me go, you army! Fuck off. More hackages fall asleep, eh? Oh, he was boy. I ain't afraid of you, space boy. You will be. I'm gonna fuck all you. Oh, 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 Turnip seed. We got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. Little green space man! What is that? A new silo? Electrocuted him with a big arm! Crypto! That human law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those pea brains were to get their hands on your quantum deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space time continuum! Oh no. Don't let their pea brains get hold of it. Oh, the Furonity! Just Vaporize my... them, Crypto! Kill the farmer's wife using a chicken. The fucking what? Where's that chicken gone? Fuck that chicken. Come here. Come with me. You are needed. Why did I do it? Fucking water all the time. Me, and I just might down right Fuck off. Give me that chicken back. Crypto, my radar shows more humans approaching. Hurry to the saucer! Fuck, need that chicken, I need to kill him with it. Kill him with the chicken! Don't care about the little police officer at the moment. Move, buddy! Suburb! Yeah! Oh, he's taking your flying saucer and annihilate everything in your path! Thank you. Now, I'll get in my flying saucer so this after Kerr Rain. Alright, now I'm getting my flying saucer. Take a spin in your sausage. Get a feel for the controls and then go ahead and start shooting. Yeah, feels pretty normal, Destroy mate. Destroy all buildings. Leave like no trace. Like Bomb those here. monkeys back to the stone age. That's what I like about it. It's not too serious in this game. Perfect. It's not meant to be taken serious. your asses up mate. Never I down. Oh shit. Hold down. Move up man! Move! 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 I don't 
don't know, but I've been told. I don't know, but I've been told. Joe McCarthy's good as gold. Joe McCarthy's good as gold. Oh, great. The human military industrial complex. We can't allow them to alert their leaders to our presence. Exterminate them! Now! Yeah. Open fire! <laughs> Crypto, I hereby give you official permission to destroy sure. all humans! Uh -huh. to the north in the bushes. What's that? Replenish your fossil shields by draining any human vehicle. Give me. Boom. The humans are making a Brains. final push. Brains. Wipe them out once and for all. Brains. Crypto wins, mate. Crypto wins. Oh, fuck's sake. There's men in black. Did you see what I saw? You bet your sweet ass I did. What did you see? Little green man in a flying saucer wiping out the best infantry unit in the U.S. Army. Right, good. Me too. Green? Not gray? Don't be a stiff. You know what it means? <laughs> Absolutely. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. The eggheads were actually onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it. Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on. The invasion is on. I got 100%. Right. Let me check out what we can do, and then I'll be ending this episode here. Because I don't want the episodes to be too long, and obviously I want to keep doing them. Until do, the game's done, obviously, so hope you play through. Watch this. Now then, I know what you're thinking. What can I, a lowly novice, do to help bring about the destruction of Earth and the inevitable reign of the Furon Empire? Well, I'll tell you. It was in the earliest days of the Empire we realized our species was doomed. Eons of waging war on inferior races with unregulated atomic weaponry had mutated our genes. We could not propagate due to our complete and utter lack of genitalia. Fortunately, a Furon ship happened upon Earth on its way back from destroying the Martians. Human society was young and nubile. Sailors on a foreign planet letting off steam, one thing led to another. Long story short, every human being alive today has buried deep in his genetic code a strand of Furon DNA. Over the eons, we've learned to clone ourselves, but with each iteration, the information degrades, and the results are increasingly unpredictable. The Furon genes and humanity DNA are ancient, uncorrupted. They represent the future of the Furon race. If only we can get at them. And now you know why we're invading planet Earth. <laughs> Skin everybody. Welcome to my little laboratory. You may not have known this, but I flatter myself to be something of an inventor. In my spare time, I've been developing some truly impressive weapon and ability upgrades. I'd be happy to share them with you. If you've got something for me in trade, say some of that delicious DNA you've collected. Hmm? <laughs> of course, I'll give you some, mate. Um, so I can only upgrade this at the moment. Increases apparatic battery charge capacity. Take that. 
Right, I'm going to end this episode here. If you liked what you have watched today, then don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the post notifications bell. Um, obviously, if you want to see more, just like the video and comment down below. Um, I'm going to keep the series going. So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you all have a nice day.